Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to what will be pretty much an what I refer to as an overview video so this is not going to be an in-depth review video of this set um, for those of you who follow Lego and particularly Lego, Lego modulars you'll know that this is an older set from I believe 2007 but I'm sure I'll be corrected if I'm wrong um, but it is Market Street um, so I think this is the second modular um, that was created um, uh, being uh, Market Street so I just recently built this I've had this set for a while now but um, I am trying to get all my modulars um, built um, I had all bar one the bar one was the cafe corner um, which I am now pleased to say I am the proud owner of I haven't got it in my hands yet it is currently um, on its way to me um, having invested in that set um, as you can imagine probably um, so quite heavily has cost me almost you know a bit of an arm and a leg but I wanted to complete my modular um, collection because that was the only one I did not have um, but there will be a video once I get that uh, as part of an unboxing and I'll get it built and probably again just do a quick overview of the set so yeah let's just start by really I guess really spinning this set round so you can look at this from all angles like I said it is an older set so I guess there's less and less of them around and I suspect that most of them that were bought at the time are uh, broken up and in kids Lego boxes with thousands and thousands of other bricks which is you know uh, a shame um, because this is um, far becoming uh, as with a lot of the older modular sets quite exclusive and hard to get hold of and that obviously drives the price up which is you know great for me as someone that owns it um, it's also a good investment um, but for people that want to get their hands on them it's not so good obviously because you know it cost can cost um, like I said an arm and a leg which the cafe corner um, has ultimately just um, cost me um, but really moving the set round kind of gives you a real good view of it I mean these do look really awesome these modular sets I have to say um, I do like them uh, I think they have some great designs the scale of them um, I think is fantastic and again from an A-fold point of view I think these look great on display um, if you have the space which I don't really have at the moment um, to build a complete Lego city obviously these look awesome as part of a Lego city and there are lots of great YouTubers um, like Bricks for Chris and A4 Man um, who have awesome Lego cities and will have um, ultimately most of the modulars if not all of them um, in their Lego cities and indeed um, some people modify them or indeed put two sets together I know that's something that uh, Bricks for Chris does and does very very well so you know take a look at their channels to search for them A4 Man and Bricks for Chris but I'm sure most of my subscribers are more than subscribe to them because like I said they are great channels with some uh, great Lego cities but anyway um, so just show you that the, 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 I guess the key functions on this it's not an in-depth review like I said so one of the things we can do um, with the modulars is they do have the Technic bricks um, which hopefully you can pick up down there um, which allows us to fix with friction pins the complete series of modular buildings um, together um, on both sides so there's some Technic bricks down here and here which allows you to do that so this set as well I guess I think quite unusually also separates so it has its own um, modular functionality um, in that you can quite simply as you saw there and very very simply um, just take the two structures apart I think you can do that on the pet shop as well um, but yeah just showing you on this one and there you can see the uh, friction pin there and also there um, but if you wanted to you could put it in that configuration if you preferred it on that side or indeed you could put another modular building in between and put that on another side um, and you could pretty much do to a certain degree um, what you wanted uh, with the set so push that back in and whilst I was doing that I just knocked off a piece there so let's just get that back in place so obviously the other great function that these sets have um, is the floors um, they do come apart as well um, before I do that I just want to show you around here you can see up here this has got a roof terrace piece here which again is pretty cool um, and a door in there and we see one of the minifigures up here at the top I'm not going to go through all the detail on the minifigures but there's one minifigure there and two 
uh, down the bottom here. Um, but you can quite easily lift each layer off. So there's the top layer. And if we place that down to one side, uh, we then, in fact, we can take that there because also this very top uh, roof piece comes off. So you can see in there, there's nothing actually in it, but obviously room to put minifigures, etc. Set some kind of scene up there if you so wish to. We then have the next section. Again, very easily lifts off. And if you look inside there, you can see there are the stairs. Again, nothing in these. In the older sets, there was no great sort of detailing on the inside. You do get it a lot more with the uh, more modern sets, which is great. Uh, like, for example, the detective's office, loads of great features um, inside the building on that one, which is fantastic. These, like I said, to the next level off, and we have a look inside again. Very, very basic. All that's in there is these stairs to get up to the um, next level. Um, and then ultimately we have, to take that apart again, the, um, in this case, kind of the ground strike basement um, area uh, for this particular modular and a little set of stairs going um, down um, to that area. But what this does, if you've got that all in the shot, you have indeed, um, shows you the, uh, all the sections of the building in uh, this case, um, all in situ, um, obviously along there. So again, they very, very simply, you know, go back together. So let's put that piece on. There it is, slotted on very, very easily. Let's pick this piece up, slot it on. The reason they go on easily is because there's no joins on it. They're just tiles, so they slot on top. And the way these plates are positioned around the bases um, enable them to slot into position and hold them in position. So there's that piece on. And then finally, the main section at the top. Again, let's try and get this one up. Uh, and again, you probably heard it click into place there. Let's get this section back clicked into place, it says. There we go. Very, very easily and simply. And there we have our... Market Street all assembled and in place again. Like I said, guys, this, this was not going to be a detailed review. More of an overview for you um, of this particular set. Um, but I, like I said, really do like these sets. So I'm just going to put this up on my shelf, which is where this video will pretty much finish off. Um, just to show you what it looks like on display. I've only got three of the modulars on display at the moment. Like I said, I've got all the others. Um, and I've got Cafe Corner on its way, so I will... Um, get them all built, but just to show you what it looks like with the other two that I've got up there um, and the Simpsons house as well. So let's get that in place now. Okay, so here we go. So there we get to see the Market Street there um, on the end, uh, next to the green grocer, who is next to the fire brigade. Um, so when the cafe corner comes, I want to put them in date order so that will go, well, not there because it'll fall, uh, but it will go there and everything else will move along. Um, I also have the Simpsons house. I obviously need to get and build the quick e mart, which I will be doing. Um, I've got a couple of more sets on here as well. Not very many, some old dragons up there, which are awesome. Um, we have the tumbler hiding away down there and the Ghostbusters um, vehicle down there as well. Um, but the main purpose of this was to show you those three um, all in situ there. because again, I think they do look really awesome together. Uh, if we come in down here, we can kind of get to see the street, straight street level, street display. You can put you know minifigures along here if you wish to, um, etc. Um, and I've got some other figures um, up here in place. So some uh, dodgy looking character up there. Who could that be? Um, and we also have some British bobbies up here. So British policemen. Um, keeping a look out from a top of the green grocer um, and we can see some me figure there might be able to pick up in there inside thankfully we not open that it's hard to open but you can see inside the green grocers there so you can see in this one there is more detailing inside the green grocers um, but anyway guys, that is it for this video. Um, this overview, probably longer than I wanted it to be. 
did turn into, I guess, a little bit more of a review. Um, but there we go, guys. Um, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it that like button, hit that big thumbs up. Any comments, questions, or feedback, leave down in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel, Destination Lego. And also look down in the description and you will see the links to my other social media and indeed my other channel, Destination Vlogs, my vlog channel. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well and support me on there. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!